Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. All righty, 515, another excessive heat day around the area. Who better to talk about it than StormTrack 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier. Uh, if you have events today that are outdoors, I would start drinking water now, right? I would have started drinking water yesterday. yesterday. No, so and then true. for yesterday, I would have started drinking yeah. water the day before. <laughs> you get the picture. But yep. yo, Alex, yeah. I mean, if you haven't had enough water in your diet, you need to have some water today because this heat really takes a toll on you very quickly. Just walking to and from your car to your front door can really work up a sweat in this type of weather. And our Hub City Tower camera is showing that once again, we are seeing very similar conditions to the past few days. Well, we at least have clear skies, a great stargazing night out there. But you can see that downtown Lafayette still has a lot of humidity surrounding it. That's that hazy look to the sky. 80 degrees right now in the Hub City. Going forward, there's going to be more heat to track here through the next few hours. Now, we'll likely drop into the 70s for a brief period of time, 6 to 7 o'clock, before we start to see those temperatures warming into the lower 80s by 8 o'clock again, and then jumping even higher than that pretty fast today. Now, interestingly, it does appear there may actually be one lone shower. You see that here just to the south of, let's say, East Cote Blanche Bay. Uh, that is going to maybe move on shore. I haven't seen too much in the way of indications of that, but hey, you know, in this type of environment, low level moistures, extremely high. Yeah, you can always pop up a shower and storm even during the afternoon time frame. It's just very, very unlikely. Future Casso shows that as we go through the next few hours, the big story is going to be the warm up. Nine o'clock, we're in the mid to upper 80s already. By the time we get to around midday, we'll be in the low to mid 90s. Now that comes with a lot of sunshine, but that is a very hot sun out there. And going into the afternoon, upper 90s, even near 100 degrees in some spots. Notice no green showing up on our future cast, so I'm not thinking any rain will be showing up, at least anything really of note. I mean, again, a pop-up shower possible, but uh, very unlikely. Those high temperatures, again, upper 90s with a few clouds through the afternoon time frame. Heat index, we're seeing that climbing once again into the upper uh, reaches there, 105 to 110 degrees. And then waking up tomorrow, we see those temperatures sitting right about the 80 degree mark. It's going to be very humid. Again, a reminder, we have a heat advisory today for those feels like temperatures up to around 113. Likely we'll do it again tomorrow with a high in the upper 90s. Isolated shower is possible. A little bit better rain chance, I guess you could say tomorrow than compared to today. But much better rain chances here going through your weekend. Now at first, we don't really see much of a change. Those storms that you see on Saturday are for late in the day after 3 p.m. So evening plans could be disrupted there. Sunday looks pretty good that we're going to see some rain around the area. May keep us in the 80s if we get enough of that. But next week, those rain chances do back off a little bit and we get hot once again. Well, the 80s, that sounds like a dream. Adam. It, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But fingers crossed. Fingers be crossed. Nice. Absolutely. Listen, thanks so much. We'll see you a little later in the hour.